Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, let me make sure you can see the gear stick. About there. Yeah. Today I'm going to be doing some spirited driving. So you guys know how, how the car behaves basically. So seatbelts on of course, safety first. I'm not going to take it too hard because I do need new brakes and I do need new tyres. They're on the way, they will be here soon. But gonna be talking a little bit I'm also gonna try my best to do a bit of spirited driving though so hopefully we can get some oh that's dropped a bit low there's a tractor here not entirely ideal but yeah hopefully we don't get too much traffic will be the last thing I want quickly check so you guys can still see the gear stick looks like you can I may adjust the uh, window height slightly I'm not going to push it too much around here because there is sometimes quite a lot of tractors and there is a school here so obviously I'm not going to be silly around the school just in case because you never know now I would have my music on because, you know, it, it feels a bit weird driving without any music on if I'm honest, but for the sake of the video and for the sake of not getting copyrighted, I won't have music on. So this will be a sort of pure, pure audio of the car, obviously with the new exhaust and everything on, so you guys should be able to hear it pretty well. I'm going to try and hopefully get no traffic like I said. you guys some in real life quick driving so that you guys know of course it's not just all on the game I can drive in real life there's a van coming over there so that's not good that means he's probably gonna block our road you might see me letting go of the wheel sometimes now don't always do that. Get some pops. Don't know if you guys can hear it on the camera. Turning off pretty soon anyway, so get to the back roads a little bit. I've noticed a few of you guys saying my gear changes are very quick, which I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> this isn't really like a this isn't so much a, a question and answer video like the last one. This is more of just just a POV of the driving. Obviously I will change gear faster and stuff when we're actually moving at a decent rate, which hopefully we will be soon when we turn off. But obviously not going at these speeds, I don't need to have both hands on the wheel and stuff like that. I believe we turn off uh, about here. Yeah, we turn off here. Indicators, of course. Should 
be able to get a bit of speed up. quicker 
like with a bit more rear end grip because it is the rear that steps out in this and I could push it a bit more but as I said just be careful flipping it on the downshift there so you can get it to slide see it's actually very twitchy it does step out quite easily these cyclists will get out of the way shouldn't be riding two by two like that that I think that is actually illegal in the UK but see if I had gone flying around them and a car had come this way I'd, I, I could be dead just be careful basically is what I'm saying Quite a tight corner. Obviously, knowing where and how you can push the car, you need to get to know the car before you can drive like this, really, is what I'm saying. Now, this road actually has quite loose gravel on it.
Which way do we want to go, chaps? You know what, I think we'll go to the left. Quite a lot of wheel spin there on the loose gravel. Got the back end kicking out, which is nice. picking up a little bit on the front end which is just because it's quite a windy day the front end is picking up in the wind which doesn't fill me with confidence I'll be honest obviously it's a little village so don't go too fast Surroundings. 